What's up guys, it is Mike Flex here at 7 Studios and I am excited to show you guys how to adjust the grid spacing inside of Cinema 4D 2023 because it's completely different than the existing tutorials that will come up for old versions of Cinema 4D. They are not calling it adjust grid spacing anymore. I don't know why, uh, but let's figure this out. So number one, if you are coming from an old version of Cinema 4D, it looks like this. How do I have Cinema 4D 2023 looking like the old version of Cinema 4D? Well, that has to do with this little button right here. If it's on, which it is by default, you start up Cinema 4D for the first time and it looks like this. So if you are brand new to Cinema 4D and you just installed the newest version and you tried watching some old tutorials of which there are thousands of really good tutorials out there. You may be like, how do I get to the old interface? Why does it look like this? Or if you're an old user and you're afraid to update to the new version because it looks like this and you don't want to have to deal with that, just go over here to the radio button, turn it off, click standard, and now we're back to the legacy view. And I generally prefer this. This is the way that I keep mine. So let's just stick with this for now. So one other quick little tip is if you middle click on the viewport with your mouse, you can jump between the four up view and then you can zoom in and out of any of the views by just hovering and middle clicking your mouse. And that's a fun little shortcut that becomes very useful. So we're going to create the default cube, which comes in at 200 centimeters. And if you view the grid here, you'll see that it fits nicely inside of the squares because the squares themselves are set to 50 centimeters and this thing's 200, so that would make sense that it would be four across, right? So I do a lot of pre-visualization for various clients and I, a lot of the work that I start in SketchUp and then bring here into Cinema, I end up kind of pulling my hair out dealing with the adjustments in the grid spacing and how do we do that easily. So one really interesting quirk that I'm not sure which version that they changed it in is they have completely removed the words grid spacing when you want to adjust this. If you Google grid spacing adjustment Cinema 4D, it will tell you to, in any of the viewports, go to options and configure it, but that's gone now. It is moved over to view instead and configure. So you'll see that there's a shortcut for shift V and pay attention over here the attributes tab is contextual. So when I click this or hit shift V, it will adjust to a different mode. So those modes are hiding under this little mode thing here. And you may have never noticed that before. If you're somebody who's been using this forever, you may have never clicked mode for any reason. And a lot of the shortcuts, uh, that we can do with our keyboard will simply change the attributes panel uh, to a different mode. So this mode is view settings. And another important one is project info. And then the one that we're going to be talking about today is actually under the modeling mode. So let's see. Inside of back, it used to be underneath this image overlay here. There used to be something called grid spacing, which I wish it was still there, but it's not. And they have moved it and it is called something completely different. So the grid spacing right now is set to 50 centimeters. If we go to edit project settings, which is the same as if we went to, if we do control D or if we went to mode project and we go in the scale Put the little arrow here to open it up. It's usually closed, I believe, by default. So we open it up and the project scale, watch what happens here, centimeters, I'm going to click feet. Now it's set to be a project scale of feet, but the grid spacing is still set to centimeters. So that's pretty annoying and confusing, especially because the grid is now 1524 centimeters. And if we Zoom in and out, the adaptive grid will adjust, and you'll say, okay, well, that's not helpful at all because I need the grid to be, you know, optimally, let's say that we want it to be one foot per square. That's a good way to be modeling 
um, you know, if you're working in these viewport modes, orthographic modes rather. So what we want to do is we want to go into Edit, Preferences, and in Preferences, we go down to Units here in the display, and we change that over to feet. Now watch what happens. Now the grid spacing, and again, mind that I actually went into Project and changed this over. Pretend that we didn't. Pretend that we didn't go into Edit Project Settings, and we left it on centimeters, and we just went into Edit, Preferences, Units, and said, show it to me in feet. Okay, done. We're done here in Preferences. Now the grid spacing is 1.6404 feet. This is what most people will see, because you probably wouldn't be going into Edit Project Settings. You would just go into Edit Preferences, adjust your units to feet, and then you're like, okay, well, 1.64 feet per grid, that's not that useful. I want it to be one foot. And again, I'm sorry for anyone based in Europe that in America we still use feet and inches. It's just how we do things. So how do we adjust the grid spacing to be appropriate? Especially if inside of view configure back grid spacing is now gone. So I'm going to show you where it is. We click on modes and you go down here to where it says modeling, modeling settings, you'll see shift plus M. Now I'm going to show you something super weird. Watch this. We click on this. It comes up with this, this little fly out that's like wherever your mouse was. So if I hit shift M anywhere, it comes up directly underneath my mouse. And that's kind of weird, honestly, because if we go to mode, modeling, it comes up here and it stays here. And that's more standard, honestly. I don't know why they're doing it that way, where every time you click on this, it comes up as a flyout. But anyway, mode modeling. Now, here under the quantize tab, check this out. There's that move setting. And look at this 1.6404 feet. That matches the grid spacing. So oddly enough, if we change this to one, boom, grid spacing is now one foot. Why do they do that? I don't understand. It's no longer under options, viewport configuration. That's now not under view configure back. It's not there anymore. It's under mode, modeling, quantize, move setting. That is how you adjust the grid inside of Cinema 4D 2023. So you guys are welcome. Now you can go into your cube and you can set this boy to 10 feet by 10 feet by 10 feet. And look at that. Everything fits very, very nicely now. And you can do your modeling and you can snap it. And the one last thing that I might as well show you if we go to mode, modeling, is the quantize. If you turn it on, it automatically snaps, right? That's the same thing if you leave it off, if you're moving it and it's freely moving and you hold shift. So I don't really suggest turning on the quantize function. I just hold down shift anytime that I actually need to snap it to something. I feel like that's much more useful.